I've got a problem. There's this thing that I really want to do, and I just can't seem to get it done. You don't know me. You don't know what makes me tick. Dude, I literally am you. Some people. Sorry guys. In this video, I'm gonna answer three questions. This thing that I really wanna do, why can't I get it done? What am I going to do about that? Will it work? And if you're having the same problem I am, hopefully you will find this video helpful. The problem. Every Wednesday, I upload a video. At the beginning of every single one of those videos, I say, once a week we upload a beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece. Beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. We upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. Now these cinematic masterpieces that I'm talking about are my Saturday uploads. Cinematic Saturday. The problem is that I almost never actually upload one. I mean, I upload every Saturday, mostly. And, and those videos are fairly heavily edited. But just because they're heavily edited doesn't necessarily make them cinematic masterpieces. Because a cinematic masterpiece tells a good story. And my Saturday uploads of late have mostly been beautifully edited, but rarely cinematic or masterpieces. And this has been bugging me because if I'm going to claim that I make a cinematic masterpiece once a week, I feel like I, I really need to deliver on that. And do I feel like I need to deliver on that just to make good on my word? Well, yeah, absolutely. But more important than that is the fact that I really do want to make cinematic masterpieces, like really badly. And not not make cinematic masterpieces badly, like the, the wanting to is bad. In fact, the, the wanting is getting worse every week that goes by that I don't actually make one. So I'm, I'm gonna be very honest about why I think this hasn't been happening. This is the first question. Why can't I seem to get it done? Get ready, because here comes a long list of excuses. Every week, I do the following. Sunday, go to church, sometimes helping on the worship team, which ends up taking the whole morning. And after church is screen-free Sunday and intentional family time. And that can mean a hike, playing pickleball, time at the beach, playing pickleball, hanging out with friends, and playing pickleball. Now this, this is important. This time is very important and that's not gonna change. Also, as I go through this list of excuses, I, I don't want you to think I'm complaining about this stuff because I'm really not. Monday morning at 7.15, I lead a Bible study with a group of students and then have a staff meeting at the church. Then I try to exercise, whether that's running or playing pickleball. When I get back to the house, the kids are usually in the middle of homeschool and the baby is probably making schooling harder for Hillary, so I'll try to help out there a bit. Then I'll start putting together a set list of music for youth group that happens on Tuesday and Wednesday nights, as well as put together a team of people who are willing to serve on the worship team those nights. And we'll generally have a rehearsal Monday night as well. And then I do a deep clean of the reptile room Monday night because uh, Tuesday is trash pickup day. And then the red line report gets uploaded on Tuesdays. So Monday night is usually, or sometime before Tuesday is the time that I need to get those edited and exported. So Mondays, <laughs> Mondays are pretty busy. I'm sure most people's Mondays are, but Tuesday is the day that I film our famous uncut videos. And those are quick to record because they're uncut, but they still need to be processed for audio and color graded. And then I add my famous single cut in the uncut for the intro graphic. And while I'm doing that, you'll probably catch me doing some spot cleaning as well and laying out rodents to thaw for feeding that night. While those are thawing, I'll likely be doing a little solo rehearsal to make sure I can still sing. And I'm, I'm still not really sure if I can sing or not. I'm, I'm just trying really hard. <laughs> um, then I may be packing up snakes and driving to slow to ship out for a Wednesday delivery at your local hub. After that, it's usually about time to pick up the baby from Hillary at work so that she can have a couple of hours with her hands free. And about the time she gets home with the other kids, it's time for a quick bite before heading off to youth group for middle school. By the time I get home from that, it's time to go to sleep. And Wednesday looks a whole lot like Monday, except that uh, probably be spot cleaning instead of deep cleaning. And the kids are back at home for school 
because they're they're homeschooled Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Tuesday and Thursday they're in classrooms, kind of like a hybrid. It's pretty cool. Um, I'll usually get the editing and exporting done for the Freedom Breeder video that will be going out the next day. And Wednesday evening is also high school youth group. Thursday morning, we have a post-production meeting to go over Tuesday and Wednesday nights. Thursdays, I'll actually be driving about 200 miles out to Freedom Breeder to film those videos that I edit. I drive a lot. And if I'm not driving, that's my chance to do some filming for Saturday's video that I will spend most of the day Friday editing. Though I will also be picking up the baby from Hillary on Thursdays as well, if I'm in town. So Thursday's filming will just kind of be shooting from the hip without any real plan. Again, I'm I'm not I'm not mean I'm not complaining here. This this is just my list of excuses each week for not making a cinematic masterpiece. And I call them excuses, but they're really just very important things that take up quite a bit of time. However, in order to truly create a beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece, it takes time. Time, which is something I don't seem to have a lot of. So, second question, what am I going to do about it? Okay, I said I was gonna be honest. So in addition to all the important stuff I do, I do spend a good amount of time scrolling social media and watching YouTube videos, which some of that is research, um, but a lot of it is not. So when I have some of this free time pop up, let's say on a, probably not a Monday, but any other day than Monday, instead of scrolling social media, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm going to start writing a screenplay or script for whatever idea I have bouncing around in my head because all cinematic masterpieces start with an idea that you want to communicate through film. So having a storyboard or script or anything in writing that gets that out of your head is better than letting it just get stuck up there, never to be realized. Maybe Tuesday morning before I wake up because I wake up before everybody else in the house, blessing and a curse, I'll go out and practice getting truly cinematic shots. Sunrise is a great time for that because I love the golden hour. Wednesday after spot cleaning and editing, I can do a voiceover, kind of like the one I'm doing right now. This is just me reading in the script that I wrote, and hopefully I wrote it in a way that seems natural because I, I hate sounding like I'm reading from a script. It's just, uh, it's annoying. Um, but this stuff does come from the heart, so I think we, we probably should be good there. Uh, that should give me some time on Thursday to film a bit more B-roll. And this B-roll will be shot from a shot list that I put together using the script that I wrote on Monday as a guide. So that leaves me all day to beautifully edit this masterpiece. So third question, will it work? And there are a lot of other things that pop up every week that are important, like managing our budget, paying bills, taking kids to practice or field trips, vet visits, reptile shows, that crazy amount of driving that I do. And you never know when a kid's going to get sick and need some extra love. Future Brian here. I had to break in on this video real quick and just say that actually this week, my entire family got sick. Like there was puke everywhere. Everybody was puking. It was crazy. And yeah, it's just funny that I said that in the video and that it actually happened. Cause I said that before it happened in the video. Anyway, it's just, <laughs> what a week. So I've got to keep things in perspective here. We are homeschooling three kids and we have a baby. I need to spend some of that free time with my wife because she's important too. And so maybe I just need to accept that I'm in a season of life that doesn't allow for beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces every single week. Maybe that's a future me that isn't trying to balance young family life with work so delicately. When I first started YouTube, I was uploading beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces once a week. However, I only had one channel that I uploaded to. I only had two kids, and I was doing basically nothing in our local community. Life is much more full now than it was then. But I, I really want to make beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. Maybe someday.